Hi, my name is James Clem. How do we handle sub-gingival margins, particularly when we're imaging that margin in the CAD CAM theater? Now, I use the OmniCam. I love the system. There's several ways to grasp that margin visually with your camera. A lot of people pack cord. You know, cord's been around for, I don't know, hundreds of years. I used lasers for over 20 years. Now, I do have to admit, quite often now, when I'm sub-gingival, I use Burr Curtage. <laughs> oh, man, I know that sounds like maybe I'm a warrior of the soft tissue. But seriously, I find it to be very clean and neat. The important thing is to use a burr that's designed for it. I do most of my gross reduction with a 1.6 or a 1.8 chamfer. On the JK02 prep kit, you will find there are carbide finishing burrs that look just like your reduction diamonds. So it's easy to make that transition over from your diamond to your carbide. And it's with the carbide burr that I finish my margins and also do my final burr curatage. So what I'm going to do is prep away the tissues I don't want to be in place. Then I come in with hemostatic gel. Hemostatic gel is a 25% aluminum chloride and it will stop the bleeding and turn the tissue slightly magenta. Now with the magenta color with your soft tissue subgingivally and a nice clean margin, you'll have no problem finding the edge of that prep. And I tell you, that gives you a lot of security. Take a look at these margins and how precise they are. Here's the deal for me in my clinical theater. When I know I'm drawing my margin in the right location subgingivally, I have a lot more peace in my heart before I ever mill, because I know it's gonna be right on. And I know that's important to you as well. So try this tip, you may like it.